Our bodies today are host to an increasingly long list of manufactured chemicals. The term body burden refers to the amount of these harmful chemicals that we have accumulated. One class of manufactured chemicals is of particular concern due to their tendency to interfere with proper endocrine function. Endocrine disruptors are found everywhere in our food, homes, cars, and offices. Flame retardants have been shown to interfere with thyroid hormone regulation, a critical component of the endocrine system. Flame retardants are in our electronics, furniture, bedding, and mattresses. Almost all plastic food containers are made from polycarbonate, which contains BPA. BPA leaches into the food and drink in the container, especially when heated. BPA mimics estrogen in the body. Even low doses have been linked with breast and prostate cancers, diabetes, reproductive developmental abnormalities, and behavioral problems. 95% of all baby bottles on the market today contain BPA. Breast milk is considered the best source of nutrition for babies, but breast milk contains higher concentrations of many manufactured compounds than in a mother's blood because they accumulate in fatty tissue. Babies and toddlers can have three to ten times the amount of these chemicals enter the system than their mothers. When they crawl on the floor, contaminated dust in carpet and other surfaces gets on babies' hands, which inevitably find their way into their mouths. The timing of exposure may be the most crucial aspect to this problem. Exposure before and immediately after birth may lead to serious and permanent developmental problems not seen when adults are exposed to the same chemicals. Study after study show that almost 100% of us have all of these chemicals in our body at any given time. So what can we do to reduce our exposure? Organic food is grown without endocrine disrupting pesticides. Choose unprocessed organic food whenever possible. Canada and 10 U.S. states, including California and Washington, have or will ban BPA in baby bottles, sippy cups, teethers, and baby toys. A number of manufacturers are already selling BPA-free products. Choose BPA-free products whenever possible. While Europe has mostly banned flame retardants, Washington and California are the only states in the U.S. to have banned them. However, many manufacturers have voluntarily removed them from their products. Choose chemical-free household products whenever possible. The most infamous endocrine disruptor is DDT. DDT was widely used for 25 years before being banned. The body burden in breast milk has been declining ever since then, and a similar trend has been seen for PCBs after they were banned. The use of flame retardants has been increasing since the late 1970s, and the body burden in breast milk has been increasing as well. Banning their use is the first step towards reducing human exposure. Contact your state representatives and tell them that banning these chemicals from our food and products is important to you. Show your support for clean products and food with your vote and your voice. By banning these chemicals from our products, we will reduce our exposure and can reduce the body burden of harmful chemicals in our children.